Hi guys, good morning. In this problem, we are going to see minimum time to complete trips. So basically, the problem says that we are given an array called as time, where each time denotes the time taken by the ith bus to complete one trip. Cool. Each bus can make multiple trips successively, which means that one after the another, each bus can make trips. They don't need to stop. And also, every bus operates independ independently. Cool. Now, you are given an integer called as total trips, which denotes the number of trips all the buses. In total, all the buses should make in total. Cool. Now, we have to return the minimum time. Minimum time required for the buses to complete at least total trips. For example, let's see the example for much clarity. If the time array is 1, 2, 3, it denotes that the bus 1, it takes 1 hour or 1 time. Here it's not defined as, but I am explaining in terms of hours. It takes 1 hour, 1 hour for completing one trip. It says the time for one trip only. Bus 2, bus 2, it takes 2 hours to complete one trip. Bus 3, it takes 3 hours to complete one trip. And we need to achieve five number of total trips. So how many hours are required in total that all the buses operate parallelly, they do and they achieve in total five trips. Let's see. Now as we need to achieve minimum time, so like we will start to see, okay, if one hour is possible to achieve these five trips, if not, then maybe two hours, if not, then maybe three hours, if not, then maybe four hours and so on. So. Basically, let's say, okay, is it possible to achieve these five trips in total in one hour? Let's see. Bus one will complete one trip in one hour because it takes one hour to complete one trip. So it will complete one trip in one hour. Cool. Bus two, it takes two hours to complete one trip. But I have only one hour right now. So number of trips completed by bus two will be zero. Bus three, it takes also three hours to complete one trip. But I have only one hour. It's also zero trips. So basically in first hour or basically in one hour, in one hour, the number of trips completed in total are one. Let's see. Okay. So it's not the answer. Okay. One hour is not possible as a minimum time. Let's see. Let's try for two hours. Cool. For bus one, how many number of trips it can complete in two hours as it takes one hour for one trip. So it will take two trips in two hours so i just wrote down it takes two trips cool bus two it completes one trip in two hours and i have ones also two hours so to, it, it will complete one trip it complete one trip bus three takes three hours so it won't be possible to complete any trip in one hour sorry in two hours so yeah no trips so basically in total it completed three trips but still 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 we needed five trips so also I can't do in two hours. Cool. No worries. I'll try for three hours. In three hours, bus one will complete three trips because in one hour it, it, it completes one trip. So in another next in another next so in total three trips in three hours. Cool. Bus one completes three trips. Bus two it completes one trip in two hours. In three hours also it cannot complete more than one trip completely, right? So it needs four hours to complete two trips. So bus two, it can complete kind of one and a half trip, but half we cannot count. We need to count complete trips. So it will also count as one trip for bus two. Bus three, it itself takes one trip to complete three hours. Sorry, it takes three hours to complete one trip. So basically it's also one trip. In total, you can see that, okay, we have five trips. And also we needed total five trips. So basically I can easily say, okay, my three hours is the minimum time I require to complete in total five trips. Okay, we got the problem. Here also in this question, you can easily see that the time it takes for bus one to complete one trip is two hours and I need how many number of trips? One trip, but in one hour, it will complete zero trips. In two hours, it will complete one trip because it needs actually two hours to complete one trip. So basically it needs a two hours, thus the answer is two. Now, as we easily saw that, okay, we are iterating on every hours. It's actually the brute force way. What we will do is that we will iterate on every hour. 
which means that I'll iterate on one hour. Okay, I'll try to see. Okay, is one hour possible? No. If two, no. If three, no. I'll just go on up till I find an hour which is possible. And at every hour, what I'm seeing is I'm computing for every bus, right? I'm computing for every bus, and every bus is what this array. It indicates that okay, every bus takes how much time to complete one trip. So it's it like I'm iterating on every bus at every hour, which means that if the number of hours possible, I'll show how many number of hours are possible. But if number of hours are possible as h, and as we know that number of buses are just as you know the constraints, it's it's a length of time if we consider it as n. So if number of buses or the number of bus times are n. Then our complexity will be O of n into h. O of n pretty seems heavy, and we don't know h right now. I'll show you right now. See, h is what? H is one in fourteen. How? See, let's imagine the worst case. Worst case can be that every bus it takes one in seven time because, as you can easily see, that the time thing it can go up to one in seven. Which means that let's imagine the array is something like every bus is taking one is seven time, every bus, every bus is taking one is seven time, and let's imagine we need in total to complete one is seven trips. As it's also said that okay, total number of trips it can be also one is seven. Okay, so I need to complete one is seven trips. In one is seven time I can complete one trip. In one is seven time I can complete one trip. And I want to make this as one e seven also because I need to complete one e seven trips. So basically, I need to multiply by one e seven both sides. So it will give me that one e fourteen time I need in total. As you can easily see, I need one e fourteen time in total to complete all the trips. So basically, this O of H, it can at max go to one e fourteen. The H is one e fourteen hours. I need one e fourteen hours in total for worst to worst case, and that's the reason. You can easily see it's way too much. One e five into one e fourteen. Oh my god, one e nineteen. So yeah, that's not something which we can do. Let's think of something better. But we will think intuitively. Okay, what we did, what we were trying to achieve was we were trying to go on every hour, right? It was the thing which was making us do one e fourteen, right? We can easily see one thing right in this. If I'm trying to go at every hour, but at a particular hour, if If and if this particular x r, let's say it's a x r, x r's, if it satisfies the condition, then it's for sure that I don't have to look beyond it, because as it's clearly said that I need to get the minimum r's. So if and we already know that okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's increasing, increasing, increasing. So if this particular x, which means let's say it's the mid or anything, any, any, any platform. If it is satisfying my condition, okay. If it is good, so I don't need to look forward, right? As we saw earlier, also we were just moving, and we just stopped at three hours because we don't need to look forward. Maybe it's four, five, six, seven, anything. We don't need to look forward, right? It's the same thing which we will use to help this problem. That as soon as I find something, or basically I will just directly move on to this mid and see, okay, if it's possible. If yes, then it's no point to look beyond it, for sure, right? So I'll just look above it. How? It's all already called a binary search, which means that you look at a particular point and you see if it satisfies your condition whatsoever you want. Here our condition is that it should satisfy. Okay, the number of trips whatsoever is found. Let's say here it was three, so it should be more than what is the number of trips required for me, which is these number of total trips, which is five. So basically, it just say okay if The five, if my three, if my this particular three is more than five, then I'm good. But it's not so for sure. My I just go on to next. So basically, it just say okay. Condition is this. But what we need to compute was if this satisfies the condition. Condition was I showed above. If it is okay, then it's no point to look after it. And it's how we can use the binary search thing, which means that I just see okay if my mid mid means that if it's the array one two three five up to h. If my mid satisfy the condition, cool. If it satisfy the condition, then I should discard the remaining ones. Which means that if my L is here above at one, and my R is at H, which means here, 
and my mid is let's say here if the mid satisfy the condition which is okay so i don't need to go beyond it right i just can iterate or i i can just see my range as l to mid so basically i just shift my r to mid and now my range is from l to mid only it's the same thing if i have my mid satisfying condition good good then what will happen is and what's the condition like the condition is that the number of trips at those mid hours if i have those mid hours mid is let's say 4 hours 5 hours 8 hours if i have that 8 hours and number of trips completed in those mid hours mid is let's say 8 hours 9 hours if it is more than the number of required trips which is mentioned in the question these are the mentioned in the question trips it needs to have at least these many trips if it is okay i am perfect i need i can easily reduce my range from l to mid so with this i will reduce my range to l to mid and if it is not the case okay maybe the mid does not satisfy the condition so for sure the lesser will also not because the like if i have eight hours and eight hours cannot satisfy the number of trips so four hours for sure cannot right so the above range i will discard and i will just look on after the range from mid to r so if it is not satisfying i'll just look for mid to r and it's what binary search will help us out and how it will help us because we are searching half 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 we like we are just moving half at every step like we have the range from l to r we just had it half at one step after that we had it half so basically we are just making that h range as half 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 every time so it's log of h and to satisfy the condition okay maybe that mid r satisfies the condition or not i'm iterating all this whole array of time which is which which shows me okay the particular bus takes how much time so it will already take out o of n time which we showed earlier also so entirely it will take off o of n log h and space is for sure o of one because we are not using anything any array or anything like that so i hope that you guys got the question and intuition everything i will recommend to code but if not then you can just quickly see it's pretty simple firstly it's a standard thing that okay i just showed that why i took my r as 1e14 1e7 into 1e7 i showed you like now it's the standard binary search okay if it is possible then just move because it's 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 possible right so i can just shift my range from l to mid so i need to shift my r to mid i shift my r to mid if it is not possible then i need to shift my l to mid plus one because now my new range would be from mid plus one to r so i just and now is possible is just the condition that okay if i have those mid r's which means it's the maximum time I can have right now. So how many number of trips are possible? It's that number of trips completed in those mid hours. If those mid hours are there, number of trips completed, it will check, okay, what's that? And if it is more, it will return true. If it is less, it, it will return false. It's just the condition. Now, how to check the number of trips completed? It's just that we can simply iterate on this array. For example, for the bus two, it takes three hours to complete one trip and i want and i have right now max time which means the mid hours i have mid hours right now which means this max time is the mid hours because it's i just named it as like that because see mid is being passed here and it's written as max time here so it's simply that i just have that max time which is those let's say seven hours so if i have those seven hours as max time bus 2 takes th 3 hours basically this area of time has bus 2 as 3 let's say so number of trips completed by those bus 2 in 7 hours would be 7 by 3 which is 2 7 by 3 which is 2 which is actually what max time upon t i just written the same thing and i just make it for every bus which is bus 1 bus 2 bus 3 bus 2 up to bus n and i just find okay how many number of trips will be completed by all those buses all together and I just checked it here in last condition. I hope that you guys liked the problem and understood it, the intuition and everything because we move from brute force to every part of nitty gritties of this question. Okay, how it is possible, how we think, how we thought. I hope that you guys liked it. If yes, then you like it, then it motivates me a lot. Uh, I am rapping like that. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye, take care.